The year was 2023. The world was a giant dumpster fire. Wars, diseases, murder hornets, you name it, we had it. But little did we know, things were about to get a whole lot wackier. One sunny day, a spaceship shaped like a massive Twinkie landed on the White House lawn. Out popped a little green alien wearing a pink polka dot bow tie and top hat. Greetings, Earth creatures. I am Zorp from the planet Bonk. I have arrived to become your new leader, he announced. The Secret Service agents scratched their heads in confusion. Was this guy for real? But before they could react, Zorp zapped them with his ray gun, temporarily paralyzing them. Zorp pranced merrily into the Oval Office where the President was meeting with his advisors. Hey there, Mr. President, I'm your replacement. Bye bye now, Zorp said as he vaporized the President with his ray gun. The advisors screamed in terror and tried to flee, but Zorp paralyzed them too. No one leaves, we've got lots of fun ahead, he cackled. So Zorp assumed the role of President Zorp, supreme ruler of Earth. His first order of business was to rename the White House the Big Bonk Palace. Next, he hired a contractor to give the building a crazy makeover. The walls were painted tie-dye colors, the windows were converted to lava lamps, and a 50-foot statue of Zorp was installed on the roof. Zorp's daily schedule now consisted of watching cat videos in his underwear, throwing raves and zooming around Washington, D.C. in his spaceship. Everywhere he went, he mandated that citizens bow down and yell, All hail Zorp! When Congress tried to impeach him, Zorp suspended Congress and appointed his pet pig, Hammy, as the new Senate Majority Leader. No one dared challenge President Zorp and his ray gun. Zorp soon got bored just ruling America. So he announced, as supreme ruler of Earth, I declare that all borders and countries are abolished. We're now just one big planet called Bonkville. He wanted to reshape the planet in his image. Zorp ordered the construction of giant glowing neon monuments of himself in every major city. All national flags were replaced with images of his laughing face. For his birthday, Zorp demanded a 600 foot high cake with a model of him popping out of the top. And of course, everyone had to wear alien antenna headbands to the party. By now, Zorp was getting a little homesick, so he decided it was time to phone home. He forced all the cell phone companies to stop their regular service so he could make one long distance call to the planet Bonk. After a 30 minute conversation about how dumb Earthlings were, Zorp finally ended the call. Cell service resumed, much to everyone's relief. Then one day, Zorp suddenly announced he was bored of Earth and wanted to go back home. He beamed himself up to his spaceship and took off, leaving Earth in a state of total confusion. Soon after Zorp left, everything started going back to normal. The neon monuments came down, flags were restored, and people stopped wearing alien antenna headbands. No one knew what to make of the whole fiasco with President Zorp from the planet Bonk. But people agreed it had definitely been the craziest time in Earth's history. And for once, everyone was actually happy with who was now the president. 